Hi, my name is Marnie Dunning and I'm an instructional designer at Minnesota State University Mankato. In this tutorial I'm going to talk about the different lecture capture tools that we have as enterprise solutions here at Minnesota State University Mankato. Um, the first thing I'm going to bring up is the techno technology tools page that we have and this comes up with different types of tools, um, links for more information, how much they cost, and what platform they run on, so Mac or PC. Now this website is going to be changing so by the time you're looking at this, it might be completely different. But we have what's called our Enterprise Lecture Capture Tools. And those are listed right in here, most of them. And those are what I'm going to talk about today. Um, Camtasia Relay is the first one. We just got that in the fall of 2012. Then we have Echo 360. And I'm not going to talk too much about this one, or really at all, because it is planning on going away. We still have it, and you can still use it in some of these rooms on campus. These are the rooms that have it. Um, and it'll record your screen, record your video of yourself, and record the audio of yourself, and it'll put it into a flash format on a web page that you will get a nice long URL address that you can use in your courses. But because we have stopped our service with them, they still work, but they're not being supported, so if there's any issues or anything like that, we are kind of uh, without help there, we'll say. Another tool is called Camtasia, which I'm going to get into, and you can see that there is a price associated with that. Another one is iSpring Free. Now this really isn't so much of a lecture capture as it is a PowerPoint to flash conversion tool, but it can be considered a lecture capture and I'll show you why. And then the last one is our high definition recording studio we have here on campus. So I'm just going to first of all start with um, Camtasia Relay. And on our Tech Tools website here is the information for Camtasia Relay. So there is a link here, capture.mnsu.edu slash relay to take you to the site. A couple things about it, this is our enterprise, so it's free for faculty, staff, and students to use at MSU. When they click on the link, it will force them to log in with their MSU credentials, so their same username and password as D2L and MavMail. I'll go ahead and log in. And what this will allow them to do is to download the Camtasia Relay Recorder that they can then use to do recordings in the future. So they can do their recordings. There's no limit on recordings, so they can record for hours on end if they want to. It'll record the screen, it'll record the audio, and it'll record the video if the person wants the video there of the presenter. Then you can push that to our media, multimedia server, which currently is Kaltura. You can push it to YouTube or you can push it to Screencast.com. Now, Screencast.com is owned by TechSmith, who owns Jing, Snagit, Camtasia, and Camtasia Relay. So that's why you can push it to Screencast if you want. You can also save it out onto this website, capture.mnsu.edu, and access it later if you want to. So once you get into the site here for Camtasia Relay, you can see here that you can download player recorders. And then from here, you just choose whether you're a Windows or a Mac user, and you can download and install the software. Now once that's installed, it will open up. Let me open up the player here. <clears throat> It'll allow you to open up and start recording using your Camtasia Relay recorder. So you can come in here, log in with again with your MSU credentials, and this is how you'll do recording. So you'll come to this site first to download the player. After that, you'll just open this either from Start to Programs under Camtasia Relay to your Camtasia Relay player. Otherwise, it'll be under your applications on a Mac. Once you record or once you log in, you can choose to where you want to send it, so to Kaltura, to Screencast. We're testing SharePoint at this time, so we can test that out, and hopefully by the time you watch this or are creating things in it, we can do that. Send it to YouTube, so if you want to push this to YouTube, you can. And then you can upload it to this site here in the background, this capture.mnsu.edu, and then you can decide what to do with it later. So let's just say I'm going to send it to our Kaltura. I'm going to give it a name, Marnie Demo. I can give a description if I want to. Here's my audio. As long as the green lights are moving, this means that it is picking up my audio. I am talking right into my computer microphone at this time. You can buy a snowball microphone or a different type of headset if you want to, to have a little bit more clarity in your audio. It will capture everything that's on the screen. So you can see here that I can see this screen, but then also what's on the other side of my screen. So it does the entire screen. You don't get to select what it's recording. If you would like to turn on your camera, you can turn on your camera, and then you get to choose your camera, and there you can see the video of me. So now there's a duplicate of me. So it'll record the video, much like the Screencast-O-Matic video you're watching right now. It'll put it in the lower right-hand corner. Once you're ready, you just start recording. It'll record your entire screen. Three, two, one. And I'm recording. 
And so I can walk through a process, I can talk for hours on end. When I'm all done, I can bring this back up and I can stop it. It'll show me a preview of it. I can do some minor trimming if I want to. Again, I can decide where I want to push it, what I want to call it, give it a description, and I can submit it. And now I'm pushing it to Kaltura. This usually takes a little while to get to Kaltura. But once it's on Kaltura, then I can re, you know, go out there and access it, and I'll show you what that looks like. To get to Kaltura, it is on this Camtasia Relay website. It is the Kaltura link here. You can click on that. It will make you log in to Kaltura. But this is what Kaltura looks like. So when you come in, you'll get to see the videos of other people. And if you want to see your media or your videos, you go out and click on My Media. And it will show you all the videos that are on your page. So these are the, all the ones that are under My Media here. So here you can see my videos that are underneath my media. So I'll just show you an example of one. Um, I'll go ahead and open up a presentation I've done in the past. It looks much like YouTube and it works very similar to YouTube. I click on it, it'll bring up the video for me. I can hit play to start it. There are different details under here. I can choose to share it, which will give me the URL or I have embed code there if I want to embed it. I'll go ahead and play this. This is just a little demo. And now we're live. So you can record. So you can see the video here. It is kind of opaque. It's not completely solid, so you can kind of see what's behind it. But you, you notice you lose the real estate when you do turn on the video. So something you want to keep in mind. Um, but here's the video. Oh, I won't go into your email. So there's just a simple um, demo of how Camtasia works. So you use Camtasia Relay. You go to their to our website here. You go to this site to download the tool. From there, you go ahead and open up that Camtasia Relay tool and start recording. From there, once you push it to Kaltura, YouTube, or Screencast, then your videos will be located here. If you choose to decide and wait for later, it'll still be under that capture.mnsu. Faculty, staff, and students can all use it. So this is Camtasia Relay. It is free. The price is nice. There's no limit in recording capabilities. There's minor trimming, but not much editing options within it. So that's Camtasia Relay, the very first tool within the lecture capture. The next tool I'd like to talk about is its near relative called Camtasia. Now Camtasia comes for both Windows and for the Mac and you notice that it's not free. There is a price tag with these. Camtasia Relay or, I'm sorry, Camtasia for the PC and Camtasia for the Mac. You notice it's about $99 for a Mac and about $180 for the PC. This varies quite often depending on their sales and things that they have. But there's no limit to recording. Your end result can be pushed to all these different outputs. So you can see screencast, YouTube, you can have audio only. You can do it as a movie, a QuickTime, an MP4, a flash file. So there's lots of options that you can save it as. You can also add in closed captioning. You can add in cursor effects, quizzes, background music. You can edit things. You can add in callouts. You can add in text. So it's more of a video editing type system. So if you want to record multiple things and kind of piece them together and kind of mesh them together. Camtasia is a wonderful tool for this. Now Camtasia, you can go to their website and you can download a 30-day trial. So if you don't want to commit right now, you can download a 30-day trial and decide as you go. But there's lots of stuff that you can do within here. Um, the nicest thing is that it is in the TechSmith family. So it's in the same family as Jing, Snagit, Camtasia, and Camtasia Relay. So if you use Screencast, you can have all your videos on that one site, which is nice. This is what I do for a lot of things that I do. So this is Camtasia. The price is nice. It's under $200, but if you don't have any professional development money, then it may not be the solution for you or money for purchasing this tool. But it is a wonderful tool to use. The next tool I want to talk about is what's called iSpring Free. So I'm going to go back to the Tech Tools page. iSpring Free is more of a PowerPoint to Flash conversion tool, but it can be considered lecture capture because you're sharing your screen, in this case a PowerPoint, and your audio. So the way that this works, it works a little bit different. iSpring has different tools within their tool set. So iSpring Free is completely free. It'll take your PowerPoint and convert it to Flash. Now Flash doesn't play on mobile technologies or iPads. iSpring also has iSpring Converter, which will take your PowerPoints and convert it to HTML5. So it will play on those iPads and mobile devices. That comes with about a $99 price tag. We do have that downstairs here in the Faculty Resource Center for Innovation down here. So you can use this. You can do all your PowerPoint stuff at your desk and then come back here and do the conversion if you want to on these computers. I should also mention we have Camtasia on these computers as well. So another option for you. 
but this will take your PowerPoint. So you go, you do everything in PowerPoint, everything in PowerPoint on the Mac or the PC. It doesn't matter. You add your narration in there. You make your slides exactly perfect, ready for show. Then you have to use iSpring, which is only available on Windows computers. And again, we do have it down here if you don't have a Windows computer to use. The free version, if you have Windows, you can just download it and it puts a little plug in right inside your PowerPoint presentation or right within your PowerPoint menus. You just use that tool to convert it to Flash. There's no time limit. It plays it much like it would play a PowerPoint. So I'm going to show you an example of what an iSpring video would look like here. So this is a PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to go ahead and hit the play button. I'm an instructional designer at Minnesota State University. I can pause at any time. I can fast forward. Tip number one, keep it simple. I think we've all been to a presentation at some point. I can also come over here and I can view all the different slides so I can navigate forward. Tip number four, use high quality graphics. A picture says a thousand words, but what if the picture is fuzzy and blurry? When putting images into presentations... So you get the idea. It plays it much like a movie. The one benefit to doing iSpring over a lecture capture much like this video is I'm limited to how much time I have as far as talking to it. And if I want to make any edits ever, I have to go in and re-record the entire lecture capture. The nice thing to iSpring is, is I can just go into slide number five, make the changes on the slide, re-record the narration for just slide five, and republish it without having to go through the entire presentation. So that's the difference between iSpring Free. You, it, you, know, you edit each individual PowerPoint and push out the movie when you're done, whereas Lecture Capture, it captures everything. The phone ringing, mistakes, things like that. If you ever make an edit to anything, you have to go in and re-record the whole thing. So that's iSpring Free. The last one I want to talk about is the high definition recording studio we have here. I went in and I took a picture of Alec, one of our students, in the recording studio. Now this is nice because there's nothing for you to learn. You just have to book a time with Alec to reserve this room. You send him your PowerPoint, usually a day before, so he can get it all ready on the computer for you. And within here, this is a smart podium. If you've ever used a smart board before, this is like a basically a touch panel smart board that you'll be running your presentation off of. You'll be able to see your presentation over here on this screen, so as you're going through. This will be recording high definition video of you. And then these two will shine light so you'll look all pretty or handsome. <laughs> okay. So this is nice because it gets the trifecta. They can see you, they can hear you, and they can see whatever it is that you're sharing on your screen. But you don't have to learn how to use a tool. You don't have to download iSpring. You don't have to go to Camtasia Relay. And you don't have to buy Camtasia if you don't want to. This, you just come down. You just talk to the video camera, walk through your presentation, and Alec will work his magic to piece it all together. So these are the four different examples. Again, we had Camtasia Relay, which you can go to the Camtasia Relay website. So all of these are listed here on the Tech Tools site. So Camtasia Relay. We do still have Echo 360. If you have questions about that, please let me know. I will um, be more than happy to help you out. I might try to talk you into a different tool just for um, consistency reasons, just because it isn't working perfectly at this time. We have Camtasia, we have iSpring Free, and then we have the Recording Studio. So it kind of depends on which route you want to go. If you want to do it anywhere, then the studio wouldn't work for you. If you have all PowerPoints and you don't want to re-record every time, then iSpring might be the tool for you. So if you have questions and want to brainstorm that stuff, we can definitely sit with you and help you analyze which tool would be best for your goals of your course. So again, my name is Marnie Dunning. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, take care. Thanks for watching.